Okay, this week I wanna talk about all these random holes you may be finding inside your flowers, in your flower pots, in your landscape. Um, it just seems like all these plants are like really flourishing, it, they're growing well, and all of a sudden you walk over and look at them closely, there's holes riddled right through the leaves. Gotta figure out what it is, cause you're gonna lose the whole plant. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna try to be a little loud on these because the fact that it's uh, pouring out right now, but I wanted to show you that these holes that are showing up in all your plants are typically earwigs and I'm finding them everywhere. Every year I find that there's one or two insects that are just flourishing and just seem to predominate. And this year it is definitely the year of the earwig. Everywhere I look, I'm finding holes all over plants. And some of these I'm gonna show you now are just absolutely um, getting devastated. So let's see uh, some of the examples. So this one's hitting me where it counts. I got my rock and fuchsia. My hummingbirds are coming by every day, multiple times a day, checking it out. And this one should look exactly the same way, but it doesn't. There's almost nothing on it. Flower buds are stopping. I've got holes all over the plants and each one of the leaves has multiple holes, just random. I poke around, I look around, there's nothing there. Every day when I check them out, if you start looking around these holes and you notice that there's just nothing in the plants themselves, you gotta dig deeper. So like this one here, this is my, um, this is a dinner plate dahlia. I've been forcing this one along and it was really coming along. I was forcing it in the pot. Now it's getting ready to plant it up. Nothing happening. So, but when I dig closer, and I start looking through the plant itself, it's just decimated. So there's just holes all over the place. Uh, the growing tips are going through. It's just not even a leaf left on some of these spots. And this is just happening all over the place. But when I go and dig up a little bit deeper, you can see the remnants of a couple ear wigs right here underneath it. Typically when you want to look through, I can't really see it, it's raining. And I'm not going out there. But when it comes to earwigs, if you're finding holes inside the foliage of your plants, vegetables are getting it all over the place, doesn't matter, they love everything. So if you're finding random holes inside the foliage of the plant, dig a little deeper. Maybe go out there at night. Because before I start using insecticides or pesticides in general, I like to know that I have definitively confirmed what it is that I'm going after. So I'm using the right product to get rid of the problem the first time, and I can use, if I gotta use chemicals, I'm using a small amount to get uh, that's the most effective at controlling that insect. And right now, my plants are getting decimated so fast, I'm going to have to use chemicals on these. So poke around at night is a great way to confirm. Go out with a flashlight. They're nocturnal. They're coming out all day long. They're, they're bunkering in in your mulch. Usually if you go and grab a flower pot and pick the flower pot up, you'll see them scurrying out from underneath the foliage, uh, underneath the flower pot itself. And so that's where uh, I just get my confirmation. Outside of that, the solution is almost always the same. My two go-tos are using some kind of dust. Now, you can use diatomaceous earth if you want to go the organic route. And what that is, is it's a very fine part of fine powder. You can sprinkle that around the base of the plant. The theory is any insects that are going to crawl up to the pond itself and crawl up your foliage of the plant to munch away, have to crawl over the diatomaceous earth before they get to it, and therefore it scratches the exterior of the insect and they dry out and decimate. Outside of that, I still use the Old Faithful. I use seven dust or even um, eight dust. They usually come in a little squeeze bottle. It's just a fine powder, fine dust particle, because diatomaceous works, but it's not as effective. And earwigs breed so rapidly. And you kill the ones that are there, you could get more. And so I use a very fine dust of seven or eight and just fluff it around the base of the plant. Seven dust can be very toxic to bees, so I do not put it on the flowering, especially any pollinators. I don't use it on the foliage of plants that I know pollinators are gonna be in visiting. But I don't find that bees ever fly down to the bottom of the plant and go from there. So I will go around and dust around the base of the plant. And it seems to be very effective that the same principle works. As the airwigs go to climb out of the mulch at night and go to climb up your plants, if you dusted the lower portion of the plant, you'll get them and eradicate the problem, and then it can actually work as uh, defense against another surge coming in later. No good answer on those. 
Those are very effective solutions, but if you don't do anything, you're losing your plants because they just keep eating. Hope that helps. Take care. There he is.